Hello, Major. Our troops are already back on the move. More than one senior general is singing our praises at the moment. I also received a handful of written complaints from Senator Everin during your mission. Nothing unexpected from a man like him. You've done well. That moron would have cost us the war. Possibly. The cooler heads prevailed. With more manpower on the ground to supplement our space forces, the tide of this campaign will finally turn in our favor. We're only a few steps away from General Rackton himself. He'll have to commit his personal forces somewhere soon. When he does, you'll be there to strike. When we get our shot at Rackton, I'll be ready. I'm glad to hear it. Unfortunately, a situation has developed in the Senate. A hearing to investigate Special Forces' recent activities? You've been called to testify. I'll head back to Coruscant immediately. Good. I'll give you a full briefing once you arrive. Garza out. I just got off the hollow with Torf. He asked me to thank you for getting him out of that labor camp. He's starting to see the danger the other dead eyes are in. Anxious for us to find them. We could use him when we rescue the rest of the dead eyes. SIS already has him tied up in debriefs. Pretty much exchanged one cell for another. It was a mistake to trust a snake like Zane, but Torf's heart was in the right place. I just hope this mistake doesn't get any of those men killed. I've been wondering what life will be like when the war finally ends. I've always known that there will be peace eventually, but... It'd be nice to finally take some vacation. Hopefully there will be at least a few beautiful places left to visit. All that truly matters is that I have you with me. Whatever the future brings. I want you to be a part of my life, no matter what may come. I want to be with you forever. Marry me, Alara. We'll face the future together. You mean it? I... Oh, yes! <laughs> we'll have to do things properly someday. A military ceremony, dress uniforms. Do you think General Garza would officiate? I'm sure we could convince her. I hope so. She has such an authoritative speaking voice. For now, just no one knows. Now and forever. I'll always be with you. I love you. Everything's ready, boss. I've got Lord Albrecht's location on Alderaan and all of the files that prove the debt. I just have to walk in, show the files, pack tough, and we can both become a little bit richer. Richer is always better. See you when I've got the credits. That was ridiculous. Turns out there's two Lord Albrechts, a father-son team. A crazy old man and stuck-up little punk team, really. Neither of them had a single credit, and both of them had promised to sell the guns to three different buyers apiece. How did you deal with them? It took a lot of wrangling, but I managed to get those two saps into the same room with all of their buyers. Then I lobbed a couple of grenades in. Most of the buyers' credits were still in one piece afterward, so I'm calling it a win. <laughs> Sounds like another job well done, Vic. Let's hope the next rundown isn't so tough. The stress might ruin my looks.
I'm sorry. I don't know what Xavier Juna means. Is there any way I can lend a hand? I hope you find what you're looking for. It's great to hear that things went well, Yoon. Opportunity has arrived, sir. We've received intelligence reports that Colonel Rebus is about to test his latest project. A secret proving ground has been established on Hoth. Security will be extensive, but nothing compared to Rebus's usual protection. Sounds like you've got your opening. Neutralizing Colonel Rebus will devastate the Empire's weapons programs. Even I cannot calculate the number of lives that this mission could save. By robbing our enemies of their most despicable weapons, we will rob them of victory, ensuring freedom for generations to come. Hmm. It was a trap, sir. Colonel Rebus was even more devious than I had expected. You're here, so I'm guessing the trap didn't work. Affirmative. In spite of the odds arrayed against me, I still managed to prevail. All of the hints and clues that led me to Rebus were fabricated. It was all a scheme to capture my power core. As soon as I defeated the last of the Imperial security teams and confronted Rebus, he activated a specially built device that overloaded my primary energy controls. I was frozen. How did you manage to turn the tables on him? As Rebus and his final few guards approached, I discovered that I still had control over a handful of secondary subsystems. By manipulating those systems, I was able to trigger a full emergency shutdown and a rear servo lock, violently propelling me forward just as Rebus came to face me. <laughs> I guess that's one way to take someone down. It was a desperate ploy, but it was successful. As I hoped, shutting down my power core caused Rebus's device to shut down as well. All systems were restored within 96 seconds. Rebus's surviving guards were still attempting to lift me off of him at the time, so I dealt with them and carried the colonel back to base. Mission accomplished. That's definitely one for the records, Forex. With Rebus in custody, the entire galaxy is a safer place. It will be some time before I can locate an even more impressive target. As soon as I do, you'll be the first to know.
General Garza. I hadn't expected you here, or Agent Bulger. The Senate situation is more complicated than I could explain via Hollow. I couldn't be certain my office wasn't being monitored. What I said before was accurate. The Senate has called a hearing to investigate the actions of Special Forces, Havoc Squad specifically. But what I couldn't say was that the Senator behind these proceedings is actually an undercover agent for the Empire. The entire hearing is a sham. How could the Empire possibly get an agent elected to the Senate? They didn't. They just bought someone who was already in place. We have the evidence right here. His name's Zion. He represents a tiny little rock in the middle of some very profitable trade lanes. With the help of Imperial Intelligence, Senator Zion has slowly gained influence. Now he's turning that influence against us. It's just another shot from dear old General Racton. Zion gets Havoc suspended. Racton gets the break he needs to turn the war back his way. What's our move? Arrest Zion? Not exactly. The military doesn't have that kind of authority. And detaining Zion would only fuel his accusations that we abuse our power. I want you to attend the hearing just as the Senate has asked. We can't risk him getting away. Go and conduct yourself respectfully. When it's your turn to speak, present the evidence the SIS has gathered. The Senate will have to investigate, and we'll be free to resume operations. I'll get this cleared up in no time. Remember, Senator Zion will do his best to paint you as a loose cannon. Don't do anything to prove him right. I'll be waiting in my office. Report back to me as soon as the hearing is complete. Dismissed. Have fun, Major. <laughs> Hold still. Welcome, Major. We appreciate you taking the time to come and respond to our concerns in person. Senator Zion, you may proceed. Thank you. As many of you are aware, Havoc Squad is widely considered to be the finest infantry team in the Republic military. Their reputation earns them a great deal of leeway, so much that they have become a danger to the Republic itself. My friends and colleagues, what is it that Havoc Squad actually does, day in and day out? Disturbingly, almost no one knows for sure. My squad and I put our lives on the line to defend the Republic. I must direct you to reserve any comments until the appropriate time, Major. Please continue, Senator. Welcome, Major. Thank you. They're my friends. We all remember the mysterious disappearance of Havoc Squad's previous commander. No doubt, a crime was committed and covered up. And that nonsense with the so-called gauntlet superweapon. An astronomically expensive operation to destroy a science project whose danger was never substantially proven. And it was only after that reckless operation that the Empire attacked us with full force. Why wasn't the Senate consulted beforehand? I will end with this simple fact. Since the war broke out, Havoc Squad hasn't made a single trip to the front lines. 
If all of the Republic's battles are being won and lost without the help of our best team, then it's time we made changes. Thank you, Senator Zion. Major, if you'd like to make a response, you may begin now. The Senator speaks very persuasively, but not truthfully. I have evidence here proving that Senator Zion is a paid agent for the Sith Empire. This is outrageous. Are we really going to tolerate wild accusations like this? The commander of Havoc Squad deserves more than to be dismissed out of hand. Preposterous. I called this hearing to present facts, not paranoid delusions. The facts are right here. Give it up. Though it is highly irregular, these are dangerous times. We are in no place to ignore accusations of treason, even among our own body. Guards, seal the area and allow no one to leave until we are prepared to reconvene. Senator Zion, in light of this evidence, I must order that you be detained by the Senate Guard pending charges for high treason. But this is insane! I'm no traitor! Whatever you've seen, it must be a forgery. Some kind of military conspiracy. Please accept our apologies, Major. I hope you understand that you were called here with the best of intentions. You have a duty to ensure that we're acting in the Republic's best interest. That's right. And rest assured that your tireless efforts in the Republic's defense are greatly appreciated. Given the change in circumstances brought about by new evidence, I hereby adjourn this meeting immediately. Major, you're dismissed. Major, Lieutenant Mai. I'm General Garza's new assistant. It's a real honor to meet you. It's good to meet you too, Lieutenant. Could I see the General? I'm afraid General Garza had to leave. An urgent situation on Corellia. I can put you through to her via hollow if you like. That would be great, Lieutenant. One moment, please. Major, I understand our dilemma has been taken care of. Reports are already circulating about Zion's secondary income. Rackton could have buried us with this one. If the SIS hadn't come through, if you hadn't convinced the Senate to review their evidence, we would be finished. Well done. I'm just glad everything worked out. We were fortunate, there's no doubt about it. Join me on Corellia as quickly as possible. General Rackton has taken the field personally. This is the opportunity we've been waiting for. I'll get Havoc to Corelli on the double, General. I'll give you a detailed briefing after you touch down. Garza out. General Rackton? It sounds like you better hurry, Major. Good luck.
might be able to do it anyway. Outstanding news, sir. We've got a positive fix on the Deadeye's location. Valkar finally came through for us. Decrypted the rest of those coordinates we sent him. The data points to an Imperial outpost on Hoth. Another labor camp, most likely. Let's get down there and bring those soldiers home. Right behind you, sir. Once we get those men out of there, we can put all this craziness behind us. I just hope we're not too late. Still. Understood. Locked and loaded. Here.
life. Mechanized travel is for official business only.
on your feet. Eryx, Hal, you two still breathing? Uh, more or less. Didn't expect to see you here, sir. Nor I. Care to tell me what you two are doing here? We're rescuing the Dead Eyes. Play nice, and maybe we'll let you tag along. 
Maybe I don't want to be rescued. Don't you get it? This operation was never about rescuing POWs. We've been after one thing, Dusk Nine. Impossible. That place is just a myth. Is it? We'll never know now, thanks to you two. I must be missing something. What's Dusk Nine? It's nothing. Just a spook story the Imperials concocted to scare us. Next to the Emperor's location, Dusk Nine is the Empire's best kept secret. Hundreds of Black Ops projects are born there. It's also a prison, according to the rumors. The things that supposedly go on there, too horrible to be real. We're more interested in the intel hoarded there. We seeded thousands of bugged soldiers into the Imperial penal system, hoping for a bite. The Dead Eyes are one of the Republic's top sniper squads. Couldn't you have found someone less valuable? We thought that. Barrett. Uh, Nora. We're rescuing the Dead Eyes. Maybe I don't want. Don't you get it? Impossible. Is it? If that's true, then you lied to the Dead Eyes about their mission's real objective. Of course. We could hardly expect a bunch of grunts to keep their mouths shut. Next to the Emperor's location, Dusk Nine is the Empire's best kept secret. Hundreds of Black Ops projects are. It's also a prison. We're more interested in the. so many soldiers to improve our odds naturally the more soldiers we see the better our chances of someone winding up at dusk nine we were using the wrong bait the brass at dusk nine weren't interested in common soldiers but how could they resist an sis agent so i bugged myself staged a bogus rescue operation and let myself be captured i was awaiting transfer when you two geniuses showed up You'd already agreed to rescue the Dead Eyes once they were captured. Were you just planning on backing out? A failed rescue mission was the perfect ruse to get me in. Far more productive than an actual rescue attempt. Now, I have no choice but to abort my mission and try again somewhere else. Sir, we can deal with Zane later. Let's just find the rest of the squad and get out of here. Jorgen, sir, they're dead. The cold, they didn't make it. What? Trace? Copland? They're gone? But I thought... Zane. Now you've done it. What? It's not my fault they weren't properly insulated. You killed them. You promised them a rescue that never came, and now they're dead for it. How many other soldiers have died for you? Huh? A hundred? A thousand? You can't kill me, Jorgen. Too many witnesses. As far as we're concerned, sir. The Imperials killed him. What? Wait, you can't just... Major, do something! He's all yours, Jorgen. No! <laughs> That's for Copland and Trace. Good men. Brave men. I'm sure he had that coming for a long time. Wouldn't surprise me. You're sure you two won't tell anyone about this? Absolutely, sir. Let's get you two back to your squad. They'll want to know you're okay. I'll call for an evac. They're off, sir. Mission accomplished. You doing all right? Honestly, I'd rather not talk about it right now, sir. Let's just get out of here.
Sir, about what happened earlier. Zane got what was coming to him. But I shouldn't have been the one pulling the trigger. Killing an unarmed man. A Republic agent, no less. That goes against everything I've been raised to do. Everything I've been trained to do. You're a sniper. Taking down enemies is what you do. Sniping a target during an approved op is one thing. What happened back there was completely different. Honestly, it's not even Zane's death that's bothering me. It's... It's everything. The Dead Eyes, the operation, and the Republic's part in all this. You heard Zane. Thousands of soldiers, all being fed to the Empire to find a place that may not even exist. It isn't right. The Republic sees us as expendable. We're stats to the brass. Numbers to throw at the Empire for the Republic's convenience. I'd have been proud to die for the Republic before, but... After this... The actions of one man don't reflect the actions of the Republic as a whole. Zane may have just been one man. But there are plenty of others like him calling the shots for us. Won't ever trust command again, but I'll keep fighting. Because the Republic is more than the bureaucrats running it. It's the billions of people who can't fend for themselves, who are counting on us to defend them. I'll fight for them. And for you, sir. Good. Now that you've arrived, we can begin operations in earnest. Imperial forces, including General Rapton, have invaded Corellia in full force. Local resistance fighters have barely held them back from total victory. Corellia is the tipping point for the entire war. If the Imperials win here, they could reverse all our hard-fought advances. I'll crush the imps here just like I've crushed them everywhere else. We're all counting on it. Your target is the Bastion, one of the main centers for logistics and strategic planning in the entire Republic. Rakton sees the Bastion during the invasion. He's clearly hoping to use the information inside to plan his next campaign against us. It's your job to stop him. Just tell me where to begin, General. The Bastion is one of the most heavily secured fortresses in the galaxy. Your team will need a lot of support to take it. To get the necessary manpower into the field, we're working with a local resistance leader, a Corellian security officer named Locke. Havoc can pull this off fine on our own, Garza. Oops. Just left. Major, go in pick or... Corellia won't fall to the Empire on my watch. Your target is the Bastion. One of the main centers wrapped in seas. Just tell me where to begin, General. The Bastion to get the necessary... What do we know about this guy, General? A great deal, actually. Before he entered Corsac, Locke served in special forces under my command. He's a dependable soldier, and he knows Corellia very well. We'll discuss the details once you arrive. We've set up our command center in a former cantina, the Gilded Descent. I'll move out right away, General. Watch for targets of opportunity, Major. Imperial commando teams are all over the area. See you soon. Garza out.
good stuff. This will help. You can't just stand around while the Empire... That's suicide. Still. This will help. I'm not saying we're not on board, lady. I'm saying you're not the boss of me. Wouldn't kill you to show some respect. This is war. If you can't join ranks and follow orders, then you're a liability. Everybody just take it easy, all right? We're all on the same side. Now, General, it looks like your best and brightest is here. Why don't we get started? You're the Corellian security officer, right? It's Corsec around here. So yeah, that's me. It's a pleasure. Locke's associate is Captain Ferris, a contract pilot. She's leading a group of private ship owners who have volunteered to help our cause. As I've explained, breaching the Bastion will require substantial manpower. Captain Ferris and her associates will be responsible for bringing that manpower to Corellia, unnoticed. If you can get our people here without the imps noticing, we'll be in good shape. It's what we do best. Just have to clear up one tiny detail and we'll be ready to jet. The landing bays where the volunteer ships are docked have been captured by the Imperial forces. We need Havoc Squad to clear them out, fast. Understood? The ships will be freed up in no time. Music to my ears. There's your coordinates, Major. I look forward to seeing Havoc at work. Good luck, Major. Dismissed.
here. Yeah, you want something? Have you been a contract pilot for long? Since I was a kid, practically. It's in my blood. In fact, I'd be flying right now if you weren't wasting time chatting. So why don't you get on that, huh? Need something, Major? I'm just curious about your time in Special Forces. It was quite a while ago now. My squad did field training and support for resistance groups on imp-occupied planets. Never thought I'd be hip-deep in guerrilla fighting in my own backyard, though. Guess that's just how desperate things have gotten. We'll have to catch a drink and talk shop sometime after this is all over. For now, though, you'd better get on with the op. Best of luck.
Havoc Squad to General Garza. Objective complete. The hangars are clear. Good work. We'll get Captain Ferris and her associates on the move right away. General! Hey, you've got the Major on the line. Good. We've got a serious problem. Imperial troops are firebombing the residential districts. The people still hiding there won't have a chance. You've got to move fast, Major. Take the Imperials out before it's too late. I'll move out right away. Not so fast. We need to consider the overall operation before we act. While the Imperials are wasting time with the residential area, Havoc can slip behind them and eliminate the men guarding their dropships. Once the dropships are secured, Captain Ferris's associates can hijack them and bring in more troops for our assault on the Bastion. Are you ordering me to clear out the dropships, General? Your call, Major. But if we allow ourselves to be distracted by every small-scale raid, we'll never reach Rackton. But those are families' homes. There's no telling how many people are still hiding out in there. Look how long it's taken Coruscant to recover. We can't let that happen again. 
Not here. If I can help these people, I have to try. Thank you, Major. Corellia really needs people like you. Return to base when you're finished. Garza out. Still.
help you. Let me help you. Major, Captain Ferris reports that she and her fellow pilots successfully navigated the Imperial blockade. They'll rendezvous with our forces shortly. I'm getting a dozen holocalls a minute from our people in the residential district. Havoc Squad's got a few hundred new fans on Corellia. need to get those people somewhere secure. We're already on it. The imps won't get a second shot at any of them. General Arachton means to assault the Republic and resistance positions in this sector. He's deployed a massive infantry force. The main part of Arachton's force is going to move through a factory in Labor Valley. A great place for an ambush. I'll make the imps wish they'd never left home. We've got three resistance cells hiding out in Labor Valley, all ready and willing to help out. Their coordinates are right here. Meet with each cell and tell them that the operation is beginning, then rendezvous with them all on the factory floor. Understood? I'll make it happen, General. When you meet with each cell, tell them Blazing Spear is go. They'll know what to do. <laughs> Vehicle pads are currently open for business.
Bye. Blazing Spear is go. Move out. Yeah, let's go, boys. We're gonna give the imps a taste of Corellian hospitality. people ready. Blazing Spear is go. Very good. Very good. We'll meet you at the factory ready for a fight.
time. Blazing Spear is go. I've been looking forward to this. Let's go, everyone. All right, everybody's here. Let's get this party started. We brought plenty of explosives and plenty of shooters. We're ready. Who knows this factory best? Hendrick and I were both employed here before the invasion began. Yeah, I've been thinking. We could rig a lot of this equipment to blow. You know, really tear the imps to shreds. What? Stop and think, Hendrick. If we destroy this place, where will we work when the Imperials are gone? We're here to wipe these imps out, and rigging the equipment to blow in their faces is the best way to do it. If rigging the equipment to blow improves our odds, we'll do it. But think of the long-term effects, the people who'll be left without jobs. Service Code 15A, Subsection 2. Collateral property damage is acceptable under pressing circumstances determined at the discretion of the ranking officer present. The decision has been made, Alden. Let's get to work. Everything is ready. Is there anything else you want to say, Major? We all want to take the imps down. If we're going to do it, we need to hold the line and work together. We'll follow your commands. Let's show them what we're made of! Stand by.
We did it. We took them down. Every last one of them. I told you, blowing the equipment was the way to go? We won, most certainly. I only hope the cost wasn't too high. Today was a victory. Enjoy it. You're right. Of course. We were very fortunate to have you lead us, Major. We better get going, boys. Gotta clean this place up and clear out before more imps show up. Thanks again, soldier. Havoc Squad calling General Garza. Objective complete. The ambush was a success. Excellent news, Major. Rakton will think twice about sending reinforcements that way again. Locke and I have relocated to a Republic safe house in Axial Park. Report here immediately for new orders. Our forces will be arriving soon, and we need to clear them a safe landing zone. I'm on my way, General. Very good. Garza out. Welcome. Please select an available travel route.
Stand by. Everywhere I looked, there were beasts bursting out of cages. Will help. Major, good. Let's get straight to it. Captain Ferris is returning with our forces, and we need to clear them a place to land. The best bet here in Axial Park is the Corellian Museum of Starships. They have a big open-air landing pad that our people can slip right onto. Unfortunately, that landing pad is occupied by a famous Corellian warship, the Lucky Lancer. We need you to deal with it. How exactly do you want me to deal with it, General? I'd prefer you simply destroy it, but Locke seems to feel it's very valuable. The Lucky Lancer is the most famous Corellian ship in the galaxy. We can't just blow it up to clear a parking spot. Look, I've got volunteers ready and willing to fly the Lancer out and hide it someplace safe. All you have to do is escort them to the museum. Escort missions are risky and time-consuming. Destroying the ship is a far better option. We need to keep the people's spirits up. Destroying their history won't do that. If you feel you can save the ship and still serve our objectives, so be it. But keep it quick. Thanks, Major. Everyone on Corellia is going to be singing your praises for saving that ship. <laughs> okay. okay, people. The Major will escort you to the museum. Keep your heads down, follow orders, and get the Lancer out of there. Yes, sir.
einfach. Fine. There she is. Thanks for the cover, Major. We'll handle things from here. Have a safe flight. I don't know about safe, but we'll be careful. Now, let's see what this baby can do. Havoc squad calling General Garza. Operation complete. Lucky Lancer has cleared the landing area. I'm glad to hear it, Major. You've done a great thing today. You've saved something that could never be replaced. I can see that you're not just in it to win. You're in it to win the right way. I'm just glad I could help. So am I. Believe me. Now that you're getting your back up, I'd say my part is done. Been a pleasure working with you, Major. Rackton doesn't have a chance. It's been a pleasure working with you, too. See you around. I'm relocating to a Republic safe house in the draw library for the final phase of our plan, Major. Before you report here, sweep the area around the museum for any Imperial sensor emplacements. We can't afford to have our plans discovered now. Garza out.
Stand by. Select an available travel route. Sir, for the safety of your girl, please evacuate Axial Park. Stand by. I'll help you. Major, good work. Captain Ferris's crews have already touched down with the safe crackers in the 53rd Armored. They're approaching the Bastion now. Our strategy has unfolded perfectly. Now, it's time to put the final phase into motion. Havoc Squad is ready for action, General. Before the full assault can begin, your team must complete two final objectives. The first is to block General Rakton's communications. Once Havoc has placed signal jammers at key locations outside the Bastion walls, we can cut off all comm traffic. Hopefully this will minimize any surprise Imperial backup. Hopefully it will prevent Imperial backup entirely. When the jammers are in position, Havoc can proceed to the second objective, breaching the Bastion Gate. The gate is effectively impervious to frontal assault, so you'll need to commandeer an Imperial crawler tank and use it to pass through undetected. Consider it done, General. Scouts have spotted a crawler operating at these coordinates with a minimal escort. It's your best bet. Once you've ridden the walker through the Bastion Gate, you'll secure the gate controls, then contact me via Holo to begin the final assault. Is everything clear? Plant jammers outside the gate. Hijack the crawler. Secure the gate controls. Clear? Time is tight. That crawler won't be in the field forever. Set your jammers and get there as quickly as possible. Don't let anything slow you down. Dismissed, and good luck.
Still.
Havoc calling General Garza. Objective complete. The Bastion Gate is secure. Excellent work, Major. Everything we fought so hard to achieve is finally within reach. Our forces will rendezvous with you inside the Bastion shortly. Once they do, the operation will be in your hands. I cannot lead this final push from the outside, Major. I'm counting on you to assess Rakton's defenses and lead our forces to victory. It will be an honor to lead this operation. Honor isn't part of the equation. You aren't there to lead a gallant charge. You're there to win, no matter what. Remember, General Rakton is one of the greatest enemies the Republic has ever faced. He is a very dangerous man, both mentally and physically. He plans to use the information in the Bastion's databanks to command an unstoppable campaign against us. You must not fail. General Rackton won't defeat me, General. The finest military units available are under your command now. Your Republic is counting on you to put them to good use. Good luck, Major. Garza out. Adam. That's really thoughtful. Here. Major. Everyone's assembled and ready for action. Good of you to invite the safe crackers out for the main event this time, Major. This will be the biggest fortress we've busted yet. What's our intel on Rackton's defenses? Heavy and on full alert. They're holding position for now, so it's our move. Intel shows three routes to the Bastion's main complex. Aerial scans confirm. And Rackton has different defenses set up on each route. First approach, we've got walkers and war droids. On the second, a full infantry company. And the last one has all the fun toys. Mines, turrets, you name it. How do you think we should go with this, Captain? Ordinarily, the spread of Rackton's defenses would leave him weak to a combined assault down one approach. And that's just a ploy. The approaches are too narrow for walkers and infantry to operate together. We should attack from all three routes simultaneously. We can mix it up. My boys can handle walkers and war droids. Not easy, but doable. Leave Lesher's walkers to trounce their infantry. Lieutenant Coria, the walkers are all yours. They'll never know what hit them. Route 2 is all infantry, a full company. They're dug in and ready to fight. Take 
take your walkers and push straight through. I guess that leaves the automated defenses for you, Major. <laughs> Enjoy. If Rackton's half the commander, they say, he'll send speeders full of commandos to flank us as soon as we commit to the assault. We better keep most of Havoc back here to cover the main assault forces. We'll regroup once we're inside the main complex. All right. You all know your jobs, and you know what's at stake. If we fail here, the entire Republic is on the line. Are we going to let that happen? Sir, no, sir. Move out. in position. Welcome party is staged and Rackman's flankers have been confirmed. We'll advise if anyone escapes. Jorgen out. Enemy armor spotted. They're big, but we brought the big toys. Moving into position now. Out. Oh, my God. 
Team 2 reporting. All imps are down here. Time to move up and clean up. See you soon. Friggin' out. Center part on Hoje S. Futot Ki A Tengere.
What's the status of our forces? Havoc's good to go, Major. No casualties. The Walkers put up a tough fight. They lost some good people, but the safe crackers are still in fighting shape. Mingo must do la plan. Fill it. Kick off is the lingo hill. made a major advance against the Empire's best. You should all be proud. Now you just have to hold this position until we get the man we came for. Stay sharp. So help me, Kushner. If Brackton's anywhere, he's in the command center. Here are the coordinates. I'm ready to move when you are, Major. One worthy opponent in the entire Republic. Ironically, outmaneuvering all of my plans to save the Republic's people. Can you not see your corrupt and weak-minded leaders are dragging you down? Your Republic will fall, by the hands of the Empire or by the weight of its own decadence. The end is inevitable. Why prolong the suffering? You're nothing but a slave to a cult of insane tyrants. I am ruled by those more powerful than myself. This is only logical. You are ruled by liars and thieves whose only power is popularity. The people of the Republic are crushed by bureaucracy, neither encouraged nor allowed to reach their fullest potential. Under Imperial rule, your people will be free to excel, to take charge of their own fates. I will give your people the future they deserve. The Empire doesn't free people. It conquers them. It is unfortunate that you will only partake in a civilized way of life when forced. With the intel I've collected here, I can wage a war so destructive that your Republic will fall in a matter of months. So I offer this. Return to your masters. Convince them to surrender unconditionally. Avoid millions of deaths trying to prevent a victory that would free your people. You won't be leading any more campaigns, Rackton. Give it up. You're a fool. You can't stop me any more than the millions of others who have tried. I hope the image of your corpse will encourage your subordinates to see reason where you could not. If you have any final words, now is the time. For the Republic!
So this is how it ends. A lifetime of service to the greatest cause in galactic history. What happens now? A simple execution? Or will the last civilized man be paraded through the streets of Coruscant as a trophy for your ignorant masses? Now, you die. We got him. It's finally over. Hard to believe. Major, serious heat's coming in. The scanners are completely off the... Whoa! Is that... Was that him? General Racton has been neutralized. Wow. He's dead. This is gonna change everything. Somehow the imps have figured out that Racton's off comms. They're sending everything they've got this way. It's too much to handle, sir. With respect, I think we better bug out. Everyone has their evac points set, and you've just gotta get the word, Major. You're cleared to evacuate, Lieutenant. Make sure everyone gets the word. Understood, sir. I'll let everyone know right away. It's been a real honor, Major. See you next time. morning. I'm almost done. With this Corellia.
your feet. Major! Welcome back! General, the Major's here! Not a moment too soon. Come with me, Major. We're supposed to be in the Supreme Chancellor's office ten minutes ago. I'm sorry, I didn't realize we'd been summoned. No need to apologize. Just come along. General Garza, hello. Please, come in. Make yourself comfortable. And Major, so good to see you again. It seems I can't blink without you winning yet another incredible victory for us. It's good to see you too, Your Excellency. I didn't become fully aware of Havoc Squad's achievements until I took office. Your service to the Republic has been truly remarkable. For your exemplary service in the defense of the Republic, you are hereby awarded the Chancellor's Service Medal. Congratulations, Major. Will the other members of Havoc Squad be recognized as well? Each of your squadmates will be awarded Silver Crescents to recognize their contributions to your defeat of General Rakton. With Rakton gone, the Imperial military is weaker than ever. For the first time in many years, we have the advantage. It's been a long, hard fight, but we've come out on top. For now, yes. But we must be cautious to maintain what we fought so hard to gain. We are all fortunate to have defenders as skilled and clever as yourselves. Meeting with you has been a very great pleasure. I wish you good fortune in all your future missions, and know that the Republic is proud of everything you've achieved. Thank you very much for your time, Your Excellency. General? Major? Welcome back. How did your meeting go? Very well. The Supreme Chancellor was impressed with the Major's accomplishments. You really have gone above and beyond the call of duty, Major. I'm just proud to do my part, General. You do far more than just your part. No matter how much is asked of you, you always deliver. As I said, our work doesn't end here. Imperial forces are already regrouping on Ilum and elsewhere. It won't be long before your team is called back to the front lines. You should take this time to get what rest you can. So what's the plan? Where do we go from here? I'd say we've all earned some away time, wouldn't you? Just be sure to keep your hollow close by, Major. When the next crisis comes, Havoc Squad will get the first call. was it I'm now done I'm gonna log off I'll upload this to YouTube later